All right, guys. Um, welcome back to Mr. Davidson's ceramic studio class. Um, so, guys, as we've been progressing and we've been doing things and we've got our sketch pages done and stuff like that, the next thing that I want you guys to focus on is I want you guys to learn how to pull a handle. Uh, having a handle in your arsenal as a ceramicist is something that is, is vital uh, for many different assignments, but the number one is for mugs, okay? Uh, your mug is, you know, um, kind of your signature piece for most potters, okay? Uh, it's a piece that most people collect and things like that. Um, so to have a handle that you, you can, uh, you know, that, that you do and you do constantly and you get it down and you learn how to do it and you make it look nice, the more you do it, the better. Um, I know that when I first started doing handles, they, I mean, it, it's taken me, I've pulled thousands of handles by now, guys. So, um, you know, this is something that is gonna take a little bit of practice. Uh, so I want you to practice with five. Um, and uh, so we're gonna do five on a board and uh, then from there, guys, we are going to take that and then I will show you how in this demo, I'm going to show you how to cut it at the right angle and stuff like that. And then I'll show you how to put it on a soft slab mug uh, or a wheel thrown mug. So um, first thing you have to do is start off with just your whatever clay body you're using, uh, just a lump of clay. Now, um, I have found several things to make life a lot more easy as you're pulling handles. You can take a lump of clay this size and you can pull several handles from it, okay? Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to kind of sculpt this into, I had a student a few years ago that um, gave me the perfect name for this. It's, it, uh, we, I, I call it the chicken leg now because if you kind of look at it, it looks a little bit like a chicken leg, okay? I used to call it a pear, but I love the chicken leg. It, it makes, it, 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 you know, it looks more like a chicken leg. So uh, sculpt it into a chicken leg looking thing. And, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, leave a, some meat up here at the top and then, you know, have this kind of hanging down here, uh, ready to pull, because this is what we're gonna be pulling from. Now guys, there are two different hand forms that you're gonna you're gonna use as you're doing this. The first one is, is kind of pretty much the okay. Okay, so as you're doing your okay and you're pulling it down though, you're gonna be tapering that okay. So as you're pulling down, you taper it, okay? So you start off wide and as you come through, you're gonna taper it down. And the other thing I want you guys to remember guys is that as you're pulling, it doesn't matter which stroke you're doing, you're gonna pull it from, you're gonna pull all the way through. Don't stop when you get down to the bottom of it. As a matter of fact, if you don't even look down there, um, it, it makes it a lot easier. You know, so guys, this needs to be something that's just kind of put in there. It's kind of, uh, you know, you just, you do it so many times that it's just repetition, okay? Uh, so if you're sitting there talking to somebody or somebody's talking to you, uh, you're gonna be able to see that in your handle, okay? Because whenever we're thinking and stuff like that, we don't even realize it, guys, but you know, depending on the conversation, our hands will actually tighten up, okay? And you won't even know it until after you've tried to pull that handle having a really awesome conversation okay so what i want you to do is kind of just get into the motion of just pulling the handle you know uh just kind of you know do it how however you need to but kind of by yourself or whatever but just kind of thinking i'm pulling a handle and that's about it okay guys now with this what you're going to need is you're going to need a your clay your needle tool something to hold water in, guys. It doesn't have to be a bucket. Uh, I would recommend doing this outside if you're doing it at home. If you're not doing it in a studio setting, uh, do it at home. And the other thing that would really help out, guys, is having a towel that you can dry your hands off in, okay? So you're gonna take your chicken leg, and then you're gonna, up at the meaty part here, guys, you're gonna kind of grab a hold of it, you know? So you can see where I've been kind of, I can, my, my fingers are going into it. So now we're gonna start off with the okay, okay? Uh, we'll talk about the other one here in just a minute. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting it wet. Now keeping it wet is really key, guys. That's something that you're going to want to make sure that you do, is keeping it wet. Now if your clay starts to pull apart because it's a little too dry, you can see that in this one. If you look at it, it's starting to get a bit too dry. One thing you can do is kind of come through and push those up and then pull them down. Uh, if it's too dry, guys, you're going to have to pull that part off 
and maybe add a little bit of water to your clay and kind of you know knead that into it okay but now see as a matter of fact here I'm actually just gonna break that off right there at that at that point and we're gonna just kind of I'm gonna kind of force this up a little bit more here and then I'm gonna start down here okay so as you can see I'm, I'm doing that okay and I'm pulling through just pulling through now, as soon as I've started and I've got a handle established, now we're gonna, we're gonna go to our next step, which is the scissors. I call this the scissors. So you're gonna take your fingers, not like this, but kind of more at an angle like this, okay? So you're gonna offset them. And I call this the scissors. And it's because you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure and you're gonna pull down and that's gonna flatten off one side, okay? So you come, you pull it through. Now, after you've got that and you've got one side a little bit flat and it's kind of round on one side and flat on the other, okay guys? So it should be looking something like this. Now we're gonna do a combination of the two, okay? Now this is kind of, you, you need to pay attention to what you're doing a little bit here and uh, figure out do you need more okays or do you need more scissors, okay? So keeping it wet, as soon as you feel it getting sticky or tacky, guys, you're gonna wanna make sure that you put more water on it, okay? Now, as soon as I've got my a handle that I'm, I'm getting, you know, I'm liking this handle, it's getting to the size that I would want. I like a little bit thicker handle. Then I'm gonna turn it 180 degrees in my hand like this, and then I'm gonna grab it again. This way you can kind of get both sides symmetrical, okay? Pulling through, okay? All the way through. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is I've noticed I've got a few things down here that I don't like, so I'm just gonna pull that off. And then I might stretch it out just a little bit more. Pull this out just a little bit more. Okay, so there's one. Now I take it to a, a like a, a surface and I'm just gonna kind of take it here. I'm just gonna push a little bit of pressure here. And I'm just gonna let that hang off to the edge here, guys, okay? Uh, let me see if I can see. adjust this just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. All right, so it's just kind of hanging there. Now, this is when the, the towel comes in handy. I would dry off your hand. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take your hand and you're gonna grab it here. And we'll talk about more about holding it and things like that when we're actually putting one on a mug, okay? Because that's that can be kind of important and it will help you when you're, you're putting the mug on and getting it in the right place, okay? And, and how to get the right attachment for it, okay? But here now we're just gonna hold it. We're gonna take this and we're gonna come up and we're gonna kind of look at where we wanna cut our handle off. So this really starts to apply when we've got our, our mug or our vessel that we want to, to put it on. We kind of keep it in front of us and we take a look at it and we'd be like, okay, well, you know, I want it to be a little bit thicker at the top, so I'll come up here and then I can just cut off my excess, okay? So I always will cut them a little bit thicker and then I'm gonna cut it at a 45-ish. Okay, guys, that's a word that I, I want you guys to be familiar with. I always say ish, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly a 45 degree angle, just kind of ish. What I mean by that is if you look, you see how I cut that and it kind of has a 45 degree ish angle. Now I take just a minute and I take a little bit of time and I round this off. And this is the habit I want you guys to get into. Whenever we're joining two pieces of clay together, especially two pieces of clay that are different levels of moisture in them, you wanna make sure that you scratch and score and we'll add slip. I'm gonna put another video on how to make a quick slip at home, okay? So we're gonna take our needle tool, we're gonna to scratch. Or score, okay? So when you hear somebody saying scratching and scoring, this is what they mean, you know? Don't be afraid, okay? And then this is when you would apply slip. But for now, since I'm just putting it on a board and these are kind of just scratch handles, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water just so I can get it to stick on there. And I'm gonna come over to my board and let's see if I can get this so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've already got a few handles that I did just a few minutes ago. I've already got three of the five because you're gonna do five practice handles. You're gonna put it on there. And then just kinda, right now guys, we're just kinda putting this on. This is just to sit on the board so you can get your image of your, your practice handles. You just kinda bend it over and then kinda get it in, into where you want it play with it, make it look like a nice handle, okay? And then kind of put a little bit of pressure on that bottom, and then we'll go over more on how to attach it, properly attach it, and get it to look a lot nicer. But for right now, 
you know, we're just pulling, you know, these are, these are the practice handles. And this is kind of what I'm, I'm looking for, guys. I want you guys to kind of, to get this down. You're gonna do five of them. We're gonna, I'm gonna do one more. This way you don't have to sit there and rewind the, the video if you don't need to. You can just watch two and then try to go out and do it. So I'm gonna take that clay that I just had. I'm gonna kind of sculpt it back into that chicken leg, you know. Gotta get it as chicken leg-ish a little bit. Grab a hold of it up here. And then once again, we're gonna get it wet. And then I'm gonna pull through with my okays until I can see that I've got a nice handle going, making sure that when it gets, starts to get sticky or I can feel friction, I'm gonna add more water. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start with the scissors. I'm gonna come through here. And if you'll notice, I'm pulling through pretty quick, guys. So you know, when I pull through, it's not a lot of pressure, but they're you know quick movements just to make sure you get through it all the way. I'm gonna go back to the okays now, and I'm gonna do both, okays and scissors and doing whichever one I feel is, is necessary, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it that 180. And I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna apply a little bit, I want a little bit wider top up on this one. So I'm gonna apply a little bit tougher scissors up here, add a little more pressure. And then pull through, back and forth. Just getting in that rhythm of pulling through and getting a handle, okay guys? So that's, a, that's another good handle right there, okay? So once again, I'm gonna take it. If you want, you can take a minute and look at both sides and whichever side you like the best is the side that you'll, you know, that you'll have showing on whatever you put this on. A little bit of pressure. Wipe off your hand. It's a little easier to work with a dry, with a dry hand. And then now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, once again, we're gonna grab a hold of it like this I'm gonna do a 45 degree cut here. Once again, 45-ish. I'm gonna go ahead and scratch and score. Once again, if this was going on a mug, we'd put slip, but since it's just going on a board, we're gonna add a little bit of water. Coming here, I'm just gonna take it, place it down, a little bit of pressure, roll it over, clean it up. Okay, now guys, um, and then I'll show you the board here in a second. There are actually a lot of artists that will uh, you know, go ahead and they will pull handles and they will pull a whole bunch of handles if they're gonna do a bunch of mugs in a day and they'll actually set them like this on a board and they'll do however many mugs or whatever they're doing and they'll, they'll put them in this, this, put them like this. So as they set up, when they're ready, they can pull them off the board and then they can just attach them to their mugs. So, you know, just kind of getting into a rhythm of just getting them all done when they're, when they're ready to be done, you know, just go ahead and get them out of the way. So, uh, so that's that's it, guys. Uh, this is kind of a, this is something that's for any potter to, to kind of throw in your arsenal. That's a quick pulled handle. Uh, it's my favorite. I love it. It's you know it's nice. It looks good. You can do different sizes. If you like a heavier mug handle, you can you know keep that nice and beefy. If you like a little bit thinner, you can keep going on and make it nice and thin. Okay, guys. Uh, I want to see five of them on a board. Uh, you know. Uh, for my students, you'll upload your image. For just whoever's watching this, guys, you know, do five, uh, you know, and then do five more. You know, keep practicing. Practice makes perfect, guys. Um, you know, uh, and that's gonna be it for this video, guys. That's how to pull a handle, okay? Peace, guys. Hey, subscribe, click the notification bell. It helps it out, uh, especially my students. You guys will know when I'm uploading an assignment, uh, but for everybody else, guys, you know, it'll let you know when I'm putting something new on there. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace.